Aquarius. Recently, Amir Khan became the second Al Heyman fighter to sign with the promoter. I know that's not the norm with Al Heyman fighters to sign with promoters, but uh, Amir Khan, I, I guess he thought it was a good idea signing with Eddie Hearn, obviously because he's a UK promoter and whatnot. What was your reaction when you heard that? I was surprised that he signed with Eddie Hearn because of their history, right. because of his history with Kell Brook. So I was surprised by that. But, like you said, um, we know who's behind it, you know, so whenever that guy is behind it, there's some education, there's some something to it, there's some intelligence behind it. So, um, my understanding is that Amir Khan is making the best move for his career and now potentially may, may be fighting uh, Adrian Bronner, which I think is a 50-50 fight for both guys. I think that's a good fight. You don't think you, you need a uh, soft touch, being as though this is the first fight after the injury? Um, you know, I, I, I work hard. You know, I do everything that it takes to be ready for a fight. Uh, the last fight we had with, uh, which one was it? I think it was, it was Adrian Granados. We were coming off of the fight with Adrian, with uh, Andre Berto, and my dad said, this fight, we're not going to spar you every day, every other day. He said, we'll, we'll spar maybe once a week, maybe twice, but we're gonna have fights. We're not gonna spar, we're gonna have fights. So we treated the, our, our sparring as if it was a fight. And sometimes that's what it takes. My dad always knows what it takes. So um, coming into the next fight, whether that's Keith Thurman or somebody else, I'm sure we'll handle it accordingly. We'll handle the training accordingly, and we'll know what we're ready for and we'll, we'll be ready for it. What about the winner of this fight? Is that an option? Right now it's not. It's not an option because it's the IBF. I'm not sure if I'm ranked in it. I've been told I'm not. I don't know for sure because I don't look at the rankings, but I'm actually being told that I'm not ranked in the IBF. I don't know for sure, uh, which is crazy. I just need to be ranked everywhere, you know, but it is what it is. So right now this is not um, the, my, going to be my next fight. Like I, like I said, um, it's, it's Keith Thurman and um, we have to we'll look somewhere else. Perfect scenario for your 2018. I mean, obviously, Keith's gonna be fighting in April. Yeah, so like yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. We'll, we'll, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll come back. We'll come back. I don't know because he's fighting in April. He, him fighting in April means he's not gonna want to fight again until the end of the uh, end of the summer. So we'll see. We'll see. You think he's earned the right to tell guys he gotta do more to fight me? Huh? You think Keith's earned the right to tell people he gotta no. do more to fight me? No, none of us have. None of us have. You know, um, there was a time when we were saying. They want wise Mayweather fight this guy when he should be fighting that guy, you know? So none of us have earned the right, you know? But, you know, when you have a belt, it makes you feel like somebody, it makes you feel like somebody you may or may not. I haven't heard that yet. Right now he thinks he's the boss. first I heard of that. I'm, I'm, I'm but, damn sure uh, it's a great to know. It's a great comparison. Um, I, I just said I wasn't scouting tonight. <laughs> no, no, no. Maybe you change your opinion. I ain't, no, no, no. But here's the thing. Danny I'm always Garcia, scouting. So I will have to, my honest answer to that is yes. Fighters.